Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to migrate Windows 10 and all installed data to a new hard drive. Now, the same process applies if you're migrating to an SSD. I'll be migrating from a 250 gig hard drive to a 1 terabyte drive. This here is my main drive which contains my operating system and all my files. The 1 terabyte is also installed, but for us to see it, we have to go to disk management because it's not formatted. So right click this PC, manage, disk management. The one terabyte drive is not even initialized. So in this case, I'll make sure it's selected, MBR, and click OK to initialize. My source drive is disk 0, which is my 250 gig hard drive, which contains my operating system and all data. Disk 1, the 1 terabyte, is a destination drive. I'll be cloning everything to this drive. Also, make sure that the destination drive is empty. If you have any information there, make sure to back it up because the destination drive will be overwritten with the information on the uh, source drive, in this case, disk 0. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and close the disk management here. Now, for this uh, tutorial I'll be using Paragon Hard Disk Manager Premium. The link is in my website in the description box below. This program is not free anymore. You can probably download it free but the cloning feature will not work. This is a program I use on all my clients. This program doesn't slow down my operating system like most of the free ones I've used before. So once installed go ahead and run it yes to the UAC if prompted. Click on Migrate OS from the Metro UI. Read this carefully. All it's saying is that the destination drive will be replaced with the information from the source drive. Click Next. And now it automatically detected the operating system drive and the wizard by itself is telling you that it's gonna copy the Microsoft uh, Windows 10 64 edition located on C drive which is a 250 gig hard drive with 16 gigabyte used to the one terabyte drive remember both drives in this case are serial ATAs now you can also click on select what folders to copy but by default all folders are selected now checkmark use all available space for the partition with OS if you don't checkmark this it'll create a smaller partition on the larger drive if you don't know anything about a partition make sure you checkmark use all available space for the partition with OS and click on copy the copy process can take a while depending on how much information there is to copy once done make sure to read this I'm gonna summarize it for you you have two options one you can remove the source drive once done and keep the destination drive as your main drive or you can go into the BIOS and select the destination drive to be the first boot device in my case I'll remove the source drive keeping the one terabyte destination drive go ahead and close and then re uh, well turn off my Windows 10 PC remove the uh, source drive and keep the destination drive which is the one terabyte drive in my case in your case if you want to keep both make sure to select the destination drive to be the first boot device in the BIOS. Now as you can see it's restarting normally as if nothing happened and with a new hard drive. Now, If I go to this PC you'll notice that I'm using the one terabyte drive and not the 256 gigabyte and all my data and operating system is activated and there. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.